On an overcast and misting day in Boston, Massachusetts, over 10,000 protesters rallied at a regional demonstration against the war in Iraq. What do we want? Do when do we want it? Now! This action was part of a national day of protest organized in 11 cities around the country. The Boston event began with a rally at the Boston Common, featuring exciting cultural performers and a diverse array of speakers, including the renowned historian Howard Zinn. You know, I think we're here because uh, we want to say to our fellow countrymen and to people all over the world that this government does not speak for us. This, no. This, the government does not act for us. You know, and the Democrats don't want to be called weak on security. You don't get security with weapons. You don't get security with bombs. You don't get security, I mean, we were the most heavily armed country in the world on 9-11 and we were attacked by people who blew up the Twin Towers. The weapons will not bring us security. The kind of security we need is health security and children's security and people's security. That's the kind of security we need. The mobilization was endorsed by over 200 organizations, so many different aspects of the opposition were represented. It's very simple. Invasion and occupation are illegal, and there must be one consistent standard for justice and the law. No timetables, just immediate withdrawal. We must inform ourselves about the Constitution. We must teach our children about the Bill of Rights. And we must breathe new life into the Universal Declaration on Human Rights. Justice is simply too important to leave to the hands of elected officials. They cannot be trusted. We must do... my Alex, I am forever faithful, semper fidelis, siempre fiel. And I hope that my words honor you always. God bless you all. Thank you. This was followed by a two-mile march around Copley Square and back to the Common. And I'm here because I feel that our government has become utterly evil. And I, um, I'm very, very, very disappointed with Democrats. I'm a registered Democrat, and I'm outraged that they haven't not only stopped Bush, but impeached him and Cheney. And by the way, I have a broken ankle and a broken foot, two casts, but I'm, I'll march until my feet rot off to get this war over. Iraq needs reparations! Not a U.S. occupation! Iraq needs reparations! Not a U.S. occupation! I'm out yes. to let our government know that this needs to end. We want peace. We want our soldiers home. Peace! Why do we want it now? What do we want? Peace. Why do we want it now? I came from Providence, Rhode Island, and I'm part of the local coalition in Rhode Island that helped organize for today's protest, New England-wide protest, for the obvious reasons that, like the vast majority of people in this country, um, I am fiercely opposed to this war, this illegal and moral war based on lies and deception, and on the mounting deaths among the civilian population in Iraq among the threats of the warmongers, Bush and Cheney, who should be in The Hague today, not Washington, standing trial as war criminals, because that's what they are. And, um, and hope, hopefully um, we'll be able to work hard, pull ourselves together, we, um, or people of conscience in this country, and prevent them from extending this war into a, a, a further bloodbath. So that's the reasons why I came today. Anything, I'll tell you quite honestly, I've been doing this for 32 years. I've been to more protests, I've carried more banners and more placards than I want, than I, than I, than I, care, to mention, than I care to mention. And for a brief moment I thought when we were organizing for today's rally, another rally, another banner, another march, what good does it do? Where does it get us? The media ignores us, the corporate media ignores us, the Democratic Party has sold us out. For, I don't know if people know this, but just this past week, the New York Times finally came around published an editorial in which they said that we live in a country with just one political party. Uh, and yet, what do I do? What do people like us do when there is a call to come out in the streets and protest? Um, despite whatever feelings you may have about hmm, the, the, the limitations, shall I say, imposed upon us by this form of protest, for people are conscious we have to do it. The alternative is to go mad, to uh, 
fallen to complete despair and cynicism, and I won't let them defeat me that way. So that's why I'm here.